Hello there everyone and welcome back. We're ready to stomp with some more orcs and we are going to try with my new unlock for my mega knobs to try out this better shout. Because from what I could tell it gives me a... Oh, wait, it helps if I go to the right menu or that. Ah, I'm all confused. What's going on? Go to quick match, damn it. I figured it would be just as flawless as it has been the other videos. Apparently not. So let's try that again, shall we? We are going to utilize the Mega Knobs Better Shout ability for my boys as a means to kind of make it easier for me to get the shield up or at least get my shout going without being punished too heavily as a result. And from what I've seen, quickly doing some custom games, we are going... Well, what it does, it, it actually gives me a 400 point shield which is slightly better than the actual shield I get for when I complete my shout. Although, I kind of wish it was for the actual combat itself for the full duration. That would be kind of nice, having double the shield. Because my boys have like over a thousand health, so... Having 400 points of shield to buffer at the beginning of a fight would be kind of nice. But... Let's get ourselves a match and see if it's actually as useful as it can be. Because the alternative with the Mega Knobs would be for the Knobs buff there that I had before, which I haven't really got to make much use of, but as a plus side, I do have an upgrade for the boys, or at least the knobs currently, with the switching out for the death copters. It just, it doesn't want to show me what it is for the brown, oh never mind, I can check on the right, damn it. Gives me a shield when they taunt, and taunt is pretty damn useful, at the very least to keep key units I'm trying to kill in place, if nothing else. And giving them a shield to kind of use it as an early maneuver, maybe. When Gorguts or my Mega Knobs are not around to kind of block shots is kind of useful. Because I think these knobs can take quite some hits there. Mainly because they count as heavy infantry, so... They do get away from most of the r small arm fire there. It's just the heavy weaponry from, like, my own Rocket Boys, Tank Busters rather, or even other tanks with to basically take them out at that point. They seem like a pretty solid mid-game unit. Only thing I come to realize recently is that they don't benefit from the infantry upgrades very well. I actually need to upgrade vehicle weaponry to boost them, which seems kind of silly when you consider the naming of the upgrade. But we're fighting Eldar again. Seems like we're getting this port map quite a lot. And now it begs the question, do I try and engage him where he's building his structures? Because a webway assembly can be a pain in the ass. With the extra mobility he's going to have and the shield regeneration, which I honestly don't know if that takes effect in combat or not. So, I may have to forfeit the position he's grabbing, unless I can catch him really early with my boys while the structure's still building maybe and just go for something else key to kind of force him into a position he does not want to be in. Like maybe the shield generator. Although, I seriously doubt I have the firepower to break through a shield generator, even with four boys. And unless I want to waste my shout, which is a bad idea I think, for when he does try and fight me. But if I were to kill the shield generator, that would easily, easily counter any early momentum swings he may have trying to get the elite point generator in the middle. Or infesting and defending one of these valuable points on top or bottom. Probably the top there because it has the heavy cover for him to utilize for his uh, dire avengers. If he can get enough banshees. And let's see, striking scorpions and he's got the uh, Sar, whatever that uh, phoenix lore is called. Basically there. For the four point elite. So, we're going to have to be careful with that. And I accidentally grouped every single group of my Gretchens it looks like. But we're going to keep with the same plans before and try and refine it a little bit. I'm still uncertain how much I want to commit against Eldar, but considering I'm going four boys, anyway, I may want to commit some. Gonna be the tricky part though. Knowing when I'm pushing my limits. Hopefully the extra shield for my boys is going to help and what upgrades. Yeah, this is no surprise, he upgrade all his Dire Avengers and all that again. So, I should expect a lot of the same thing. It's what I'm coming to expect here. 
So let's try and poke the middle. Oh, Gretchen, I thought I had you moving down to the bottom. Not a huge deal, because I don't think I'm going to be making use of that point very well anyway. That was a bad idea. I just wasted a shout for nothing. And he's got a listening post already, which is kind of okay. I don't need to fight him then in that position, so force him into a position he doesn't want to be in. We got four boys, we can pressure over here, and he spent 200 requisition on a listening post, so I'm going to ignore. And I did lose some units, so I have the means to get a shooter hut already. Alright, Dire Avengers are already in play, so maybe I can't utilize as much as I like, but the Dire Avengers are already gone. And grab the shield generators and try something a little bit different. His dire defenders are getting shot, so. Alright, let's just shout and. Ooh. Uh, I didn't get the upgrades I would like, but I do have speed increase. Come on, go on in and cause some ruckus. He's going to keep kiting, so I'm going to have Shooter Boys pretty soon for that. I almost have the requisitions for it. And that's a bit of a risky business there, so... Let's keep going after him. Let's force his hand a little bit. Can I surround him? Damn it! How? Ooh, maybe I did get the body block. I don't know. It's hard to say. Really hard to say, if I got, if, but that grenade just kind of ruined it, I think. Yeah, he's throwing grenades, so probably not getting the work damage I want. And I haven't even killed any of his Dire Avengers just yet, which is a bit of a problem. Because I was just g basically gave him a bunch of free damage. Can I kill? Well, he's ignor ignoring the fact that I have Shooter Boys, so maybe I can't do damage. Okay, he's already got a Striking Scorpion, so... Oh, I should I should have kept them fighting there. I thought for some reason I had Gretchen's up here going. Oh, and I do have these boys fully upgraded, so. Alright, keep on moving. We got more shooter boys. Where are they? Yeah, this is not gonna go very well, unfortunately. That's a shame. I'm just getting stomped horribly there just because of the damn mobility. And it comes down to really understanding how to take advantage of that mobility. Because I doubt Shooter Boys are going to do very well because he can just simply run away. So I'm going to have to work on that a little bit. And he went for a really fast Elite Point Generator apparently, so he shouldn't have very many units. And soon, well, he's going to continue to get Elite Points, so... Not a lot I can do here, because I lost my points. That... Uh, that dang it, what is it? That Bone Singer's kind of regenerate all his shield, so that's not going well either. And I can shoot these guys, some, but they're killing my stuff. Yeah, those shields are a bit of a pain a little bit. The Shooter Boys are doing good damage, but how close do I need to get? I'm close enough, so let it unload and hope I'm doing the damage I need to. Yeah, he has to run. Yeah, I did good damage, but he can easily heal it up. And apparently he's Banshee's stealthed as well because of that dang cloud and the passive trait he has. Now... I gotta wait for Gorguts and hope I can do work with him and grab the point back up. Cause I got a lot of I got some power now, I just need walk banners. Gonna have to get some walk banners and maybe get some upgrades. 
Although with lack of requisition, especially down here, I didn't he never got my second one. That's kind of a failing as well, a little bit. But I don't want to just double build because that wastes so much power. Especially if I can hold the top one for a bit. Although we're building up there, we're going to have some scrapped upgrade people. Or upgrade some of my boys. And another 100 seconds till I can get another... Get my Gorguts in. But I'm not going to have any requisition available. That may have cost me not having a second requisition point. And I can't push out very well either, can I? Although... Let's keep these Gretchens with my boys to provide a little bit of vision, because that's going to be important. And since I'm going to get power pretty soon, why not just get this uh, pile of guns? Start boosting them up and get them ready. Going to have no momentum swing though, especially if I'm going to keep building units. But that should be the last of my requisition that isn't infesting units. Because I can easily use the scrap to up, rep replenish my Pashuta boys a little bit. If only a little bit. But I seriously doubt he's going to let me walk freely and do damage. But I'm going to have to try it regardless. Yep, he's destroying my power and my tech. And is killing my requisition as a bonus, so... Get more boys, get... Start building up towards Gorguts, who's coming up in 20 seconds. And without a doubt, he's going to have his second elite, Sarmare. I think that's a safe assumption, so I'm going to have to hit really fast. I'm going to have to hit really fast, so finish up your upgrades, damn thing. Alright, and hopefully that'll be done in time. Did I time this right? Yeah, I, t I think I timed this right. And research should hopefully finish as I'm in the middle of the fight. It's the only thing I got going for me. Let him destroy the hut. Let him destroy the hut. I don't care too much because I'm committing to this now. And I don't think I want any more shooter boys. Okay. And let's see, those are Dire Avengers. And dang it, the grenade ruined that already. Plus side is these boys can shout and get their damage buff in or shield. And I have Gretchen's the kind of spot. Get over here, slacker. My wall banner is about to fail though, so I need to be careful. So, let's try and get my upgrades. Where are my grots? I have second grots around. So we're going to upgrade the bigger guns. Stop engaging the wrong targets. Kill the striking scorpions. And now, can I get some stick bombs ready? Now, Gorguts, you're going up and going to make these Dire Avengers really uncomfortable. I think it's a good plan. Also, get some more power because I am going to get beaten back by that pretty soon. Okay, Sarmar is here. She's a massive damage dealer as made apparent by the fact that she's just murdering me. Uh, the timing window was really damn good, I just know, don't have the standing forces anymore to keep this going. And can I could keep building boys. Wow, did they seriously not build? Oh, they built elsewhere, okay. I saw for some reason we're up top. So this may be a little uncomfortable. I'm I killed a good portion of his army at least, but it doesn't do much on its own just yet. Maybe my boys can help me out some. Draw his fire, make him think he can kill this guy. If only a little bit. Especially since I can grab scrap in a moment there to heal up. Because he is committing this. 
Okay, the shields took a crap ton of damage there until that's a return strike. I for I, I have such little experience with fighting her that I don't know the best course of going about this. But I could kill her still. I got Death Lutas. And she did run away. I'm pretty certain she ran away because I didn't hear any dramatic music to represent the occasion. But that wog, I want to say, was pretty effective. Just limited on, on what I gained. And I saw Gorgas was going over there. Yeah, that's a little bit of a pain there. I have to learn that thing boomerangs. And again, it comes down to the question, how do I engage early on against Eldar? Because clearly boys with... with well, I'm kind of squandering my shouts too, which is a, gives me a mobility boost too, to be fair. So, we'll move these guys forward and try and help. Try and do more push because my wog's back up. And I need to heal up uh, Gorguts too, that might be a good idea. I eh, did. I am still doing damage at least. Oh boy. I could still do work here. It's just not a very comfortable position. And these should at least still be able to shoot right. Yep, there goes the shields in a hurry. Yeah, he did a lot of damage though, needless to say. If I had left them there a few seconds earlier, I wonder how he's spotting though. Is it because of like, because only my units have the stealth, even though I should be using them as kind of for early warning system, quite frankly. So I'm wondering how he's, oh, he's got the high ground too. That could be why. So I'm going to lay it down to failing to use my Gretchen's properly. I think that's a fair assessment. But with the Wog, I can be happy with that exchange. It's just building up to a good momentum before that. Because clearly he has no one here, so... Because otherwise my Gretchens would notice. So I don't think I want to chalk it up to that just yet. I think that was just dumb luck on his part. Alright, shout. Boy, shout. I got shield blocking that damage, so that paid off nicely. And now you are in range of the turret and you just used all your mobility. Can I kill her quickly? Probably not, but I'm going to try anyway. Well, that was effective. Now if only I could have more results like that, huh? I think what I need to do is prepare for my next wog. Get ready to punish that net again. I did heal at least, so that's something. And I haven't even built any tech structures. Not that I want really tech so much. Alright. Let's try and push on out. May not be a good exchange, but I'll have boys coming down quickly to kind of soak the damage. They're not going to do much. Oh, and I interrupted their shout, so that doesn't help matters either. Killing the web lane and all that should be decent, if nothing else. And I'll have some scrap. Although I should have probably walked, shouldn't I? So he's gonna, without a doubt, hide, but... Killing this requisition point's no different than killing his. Dang it. My boys are out of position. And they're already dead, so that was another mistake. Which is kind of why I don't like the looters so much. Lack of mobility, because they have to constantly set up. But let's get see if we can do something about these striking scorpions some. So yeah, this is another route. I should have got a wog banner going, and actual real push. To where I know he's infested in his defending his units. I did kill the striking scorpions, but that doesn't do much for me. Yeah, this is a bit of a route. 
It had good momentum there with the Wog Banner push, but I need to figure out my early game. Because going all boys clearly isn't doing it. And going shooters is going to be slow as hell. I'm kind of forfeiting the middle of the map. Because it's really due to the fact that those shields can absorb so much damage that I'm not actually killing any of his units and thus, and thus none of his actual firepower. Unless I get a good shout off, so I'm going to have to keep a sharp eye on my shouts maybe. Because with his grenades on every single Dire Avenger, I kind of have to wait till he uses the grenades or bait with one of my squads. And of course, Sar Mare, whatever that dang, uh, Stor St what is it, Storm Phoenix is called. Some I forget, I forget the actual, what they're actually called. Phoenix Lord, that's what it is, Jane Zar. If I could have paid more attention at Devil Cleave there, or the boomerang attack, that actually would have been pretty good for me. Because the boy's shields are actually absorbing that really well when I have them shouting. It's just that they take even more damage when it turns back. So maybe, if I'm somehow really lucky, I could just taunt Jane Zar to delay that a little bit. At least give enough time for my boys to get their movement speed increased to just move out of the way. Because that's what wrecked my army there. We made progress. It's better progress than the last time I fought Eldar, at least. I felt like I was in a winning situation there when I timed my Gorgas attack. I need to have been a lot more damaging, though, and capitalize on that Jane Sar pop popping up, too. Again, that comes down to a lack of experience, though. Thank you for watching.